how to pre-fill forms in Airtable. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can pre-fill forms in Airtable. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Airtable account. You're going to log in. And once you're in the form section, this is how it's going to look like. Over here, we have a new contact form right here created just now. And in it, we have just these two fields. We have the name, we have the company. You can go ahead and add different fields by clicking on this button right here. And you can add them or you can edit the current available fields by clicking on the field and changing by clicking on the edit field button and changing the type of field it is. So as you can see, we have barcode, ratings, duration, uh, email, data, user, we have a bunch of different options you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want and you can go ahead and add that and we can also make it required if you want to and not seen or removed from your form as well it depends on you so once you've done your form you can go ahead and by clicking on this open form button right here it's going to open it up in another tab as so now in order to make it a pre-fill form what you need to do is you need to focus on the url right here all right we're going to adding a sign text to the URL, which is going to help us create a pre-filled form. And also, if you're wondering why you would need a pre-filled form, well, it's very simple. Let's say you know someone, right? And you know their name, but you don't know their company name. And you want to help them by filling out as much of these forms as possible from the information that you know, and then leave the rest to them. So name, you know, their name is john doe whatever but you don't know their company you've already filled out the name and they'll just need to fill out the company name so it's that's why we use pre-filled forms now again let's go ahead and focus on the url this url is going to be pre-generated so you don't have to worry about that now in order to make it you know a pre-filled form we need to determine which of these two fields do we want to choose so it could be the name or company name right let's go with name so in order to make this field a pre-fill we'll just select the url add a question mark at the end and type pre-fill and then an underscore now next what you need to do is you need to add the name of the field so for me it's name and i'll just add in name as it is but if it was let's say first name what would you have to do you know your you have two words in your field for you it would be first name right and then put a plus icon right here and then name all right any space that you add is automatically going to be a plus so keep that in mind and then you add the is equal sign right here but since mine only contains one word which is going to be name i'm going to remove the plus and the first letter and all right, let's assume that we are sending this uh, form to our friend named Jacob Lowry. We'll add in the plus, or you could, you know, put a space over here and add in the last name and then just hit enter. And you will notice that the form has automatically been filled out and the space bar that you left within the name is now replaced by a percentage and 20 so it's going to automatically fill out so this is going to be your pre-filled form but it's not complete yet because as you can see the company name for yield is still empty so we need to fill this field out now we've already filled out the name and if you are going to do that you can see our sign text is starting from over here. Now, what we're going to do is we're not going to remove that, but instead we're going to add an ANS field right here. And then we're going to add the prefill right here. Uh, type in prefill underscore company, you know, specifying the field that you are entering in. Company plus name is equal right here this is going to be it and now you can just simply enter in the name of the company and this entire form will be filled out so you don't have to worry about it so now we'll just say the company name is jacob and co pretty simple then we hit enter and there you go so i'm sorry about that we'll just say jacob and co there you go we are now good to go so this is how you filled it out 
Now this link is going to be your pre-fill form link. And then you will see that in your form, you have submitted it and you have received your information. Now you can do a bunch of other stuff as well. Like for example, you could add a field right here by clicking on add a field and over here by going into the formula section right here, you could add a formula. And if you want to know, you know, find out a specific formula, click on learn more. It's going to open up right here and you can go ahead and learn all the formulas right? like so, as you can see right here. Let me just move it right here. There you go. If you don't know how to create it, it's very simple. Uh, you just simply click on forms right here. Let me show you. you. Click on forms, right? Add fields and click on formula. And right here, it's going to open up right here. And then over here, you could just simply type in encode right here. Encode underscore URL underscore components. And in the bracket, what you could do is you could add another uh, flower bracket right here and then choose what you want right here so as you can see you have your company name form so we'll just say company name right here and as you can see then you just simply close it off with a simple bracket there you go now it's green and then you just simply click on create field and there you go there you go as you can see you now have to this one i named company name url this one i did not so we can go ahead and delete that because we already have it right here and that's how you do it. That's how you fill out and create a pre-filled form in Airtable. It's a little bit tricky, I know, but it's very simple as well. Uh, you don't need to overcomplicate it. You just need to configure the URL and you are good to go. So let me actually show you if you don't remember it so you don't have to go back, right? So let's go ahead and click on forms and open up the form right here. And as I said before, let me add, type in right here. We'll just add a question mark, prefill underscore, and then you specify the field, let's say name, and then you add in a is equal button, and we'll say Jacob Lowry. There we go, and we'll click on enter. Sorry about that, I accidentally added two eyes in prefill. Now we'll just simply hit enter, and there we go. You don't even have to enter in the space as well. You don't even have to enter in percentage 20. You could just hit a space bar and then just simply enter and it'll automatically enter in a percentage and 20. And there you go. That's how you have it. Then you can just simply copy the link and send it to whoever you want and they can fill out the rest of the fields as they see fit. So very simple. That's how you do it. That's how you add and create a pre-filled form in Airtable. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that guys, thank you guys for watching and until next time, take care and goodbye.